Okay, welcome back. Hey, today we're tying a little elk-haired caddis. I uh, told you in the last video that I was going to try to go out and do a little fishing. Well, I did get out a few days thereafter, and everything was still frozen up. Got some good exercise at least, but now that section is closed until opening day. And when I do get out again, hopefully next week or so, I'll fish the uh, delayed harvest area. All right, so what I have in the vise here is a Sabre Hopper Terrestrial size 14 hook. I looked at my box there and I seen a whole bunch of elk haired caddis that I tied previously and realized I haven't put one on film for you. Actually, I do this with a CDC body. A little different, not really necessary, still really acts the same in the water, same floatability, but uh, it's just something a little different I like to do. So start your thread on, Stanville 70 denier in brown. Take it back. I'm going to leave this tag end. Put it in my material holder. Take it back a few more turns around the bend. Just right about there. Alright, next we're going to add a hackle feather. This hackle feather is an old whiting dry fly cape. Dry fly hackle. You can see it's uh, pretty well uh, seasoned, I guess you could say. Still good hackle, everything. Very nice hackle. Go ahead and strip off a little bit for the stem. I want to tie it in with the uh, doll side facing me. Give it a couple wraps. Take it back to the base of the feather. When I wrap it, I want the doll side facing forward. Is my goal. Alright, now we're going to add a piece of CDC. It's medium done CDC. And I got uh, pretty good Came in one gram. This is actually about a half gram packet. The seller on eBay sent me two packs of these. Pretty cheap. I bought off them before, years ago. And, uh, good stuff. So, what I want to do is lay the feather right on top of the hook here with the bottom of the feather facing forward. Lash it down with a couple of turns on your thread. Take some little tweezers. You want to pull that feather up through the thread only leaving a few fibers left. About like that. Now you want to take your thread Advance it forward, pull that CDC back, perk your thread up near the front. Now you want to take your hackle pliers, attach it to the bottom of the CDC there. And then your first wrap, you want to cover up that thread. And now you want to wrap forward. You can use the rotary function on your vise, or just do what I'm doing here, a little hand over hand action. And about right about there. You want to leave enough room for your uh, elk hair wing. Go ahead and wrap it over once. You can go ahead and remove your apple plier. A couple more wraps, cut away the stem. I'm going to trim up a little of these stragglies here. I like to have these floating around, but I like to have them under control too. 
the super long ones I don't uh, don't think I necessarily need like that okay now you're going to take your hackle pliers again attach them to the end of this piece of hackle and with the dull side facing forward oh, broke it off let's try that again All right, with the doll side facing forward, palm of that hackle forward. Nice open turns. And when you get to the front, go ahead and capture it. A little tag in, getting in my way there. Alright, go ahead and cut away the little butt end section. Give it a couple wraps. Now this is a, uh, just a, I'm going to kind of wrap this piece of thread that I left there just to help secure the hackle. But you don't want to trap any of this hackle if you can. Do your best to kind of wrap without trapping any hackle. I know it may be a little difficult, but if you give it a few wraps, it comes out pretty decent. Tie it off. All right, now you're going to do something that I normally don't like to do, but in this fly it works a little better. And I'm going to trim all this hackle right on top. Give it a nice little haircut like that. Spin that thread up a little bit. What I have here is some Elk Hair Body, natural color. It's cow. Uh, let's see, cow body hair. Elk, yeah, alright. Natural color. Nothing special about it. Put it in my stacker. Cut away a good section, maybe uh, looks about a half a pencil's width. Depending on the fly that you're tying. The size of the fly is the thickness of the one you want, so. All the tips are aligned. You got some junk in the bottom there. We're going to clean that out. I cleaned all the fluff out mostly before I put it in. I got a couple broken tips here. There you go. You want your wing to be just past the bend of the hook. If you notice the caddis wing, the uh, kind of extends over top of the body and right past the butt of the body. So take your elk hair, sit it right on top, grasp it firmly, and your first wrap around the elk only, second wrap around the elk only, third wrap around the hook and the elk, and give it uh, maybe six, seven wraps. Now you want to take your butt end sections, raise them up to expose the front of the hook, or the eye of the hook I should say, pull it up a little ahead, and I'm going to take this wing, I'm going to lift it up, and I'm going to tie in behind it. And I'm going to wrap around the eye. And I'm going to lift this wing and I'm going to tie in behind it. 
what I'm essentially doing is securing that wing a little better. But what's ultimately going to take care of it is the Sally Hansons. So there we go. I'm going to give it a foot finish in behind the eye. Three whips is enough because you're going to put a little glue in it. Tighten it down. Cut away the thread. Now, how do you want to cut your head here? Pull your butt end sections up. What I like to do is try to keep the angle of the wing. About, you know, I'm my fingers out of the way here. About like that. I'm going to get uh, Take it down just a little better than that. That was a little too much. A little too big of a head there. Alright. Now you're going to take a little Sally Hansen's. Or super glue. Or head cement. Make sure everything's out of the way. If you want, you can get real precise with it, with the bakken. Let's do the other side and make sure that thread is coated. And that's how I like to do it. All right. Got a couple broken tips in there. Let me get that out for you. There you go. You got a little elk hair caddis. I don't think I got anything in the eye of the hook there, but. I'll clean my bucket up. I've got some steel wool and an old pill bottle. Stick that bucket in there, give it a few swipes. Nice and clean. Alright. Now, it's up to you if you want to pluck that down a little bit on the uh, CDC. But what it does, it gives it a little extra flow in the water. That's why I like to use it. There you go. Got yourself an elk hair caddis. Little brown hackle. Little Dunn CDC. Some elk hair. On a size 14. Hopper terrestrial hook. Alright, hope you like this fly. Hope you like my videos. If you do, give me a little click on the subscribe button. And on the... Uh, like button, let me know what you think about it. Very good uh, fly. It's an old, an old fly. Everybody has used it for years and years. I've had a bunch of my box. That's why I never tied them up before. And decided I better put some on film here before trout season starts. Get that little straggly out of there. There you go. All right, cheers. Stay tuned for more. Hopefully I'll get another fishing video out there. We'll see you... Uh, Next time, stay safe and go fishing.